Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And, and I've sat here and listened to the Speaker, but honestly, so many of the things that he is talking about are provincial issues. He has talked about contraception. I can tell you that back in the 80s, I could walk into any clinic and for $2 get contraceptions. So he's providing this idea that Canadians cannot get access. And I will let you know when the provinces are providing these programs, they do work. Because back in 1989, for $2 you could get a package. And that was what we were doing then. He talks about all of the great work that they're doing, but I really think what we see here is lack of consultation. They speak greatly about the dental care program. As a former dental health person, and I can tell you if you don't have antibiotics, then you will not be have, able to have your tooth pulled. And I'm just wondering if this, this gentleman ever, or if this uh, leader ever actually studied to find out these things. And I'm just very wondering why we're getting into the province's territory when they were actually providing many of these services. Honourable Minister for 30 seconds. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And i be frank with you. Canadians across the country are just not interested in that argument. They have critical needs that need to be met and we have to work collaboratively to do it. Canada has a responsibility to maintain and protect the Canada Health Act. The Canada Health Act is a matter of absolute federal jurisdiction, and the idea that we would abdicate the field and let our health system deteriorate and fall apart it makes you wonder what the real argument is. And if the member wasn't listening when I was talking about the difference between oral contraceptives having a 9% failure rate versus an IUD as 0.2%, how could she talk to a woman who doesn't have the dollars about why she would...